Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on how to play Fagel if you're solo queuing. Now this is not for people who want to lone wolf, this is for people who are solo queuing and kind of want to help the squad out and play Battlefield 5, but they don't want to talk, they don't want to really communicate because you, know, you want to chill. Now, I have two solo queuing strategies. The first is the Medic, which I'm going to go over later in the video, but if you watched the Devastation video, it's like the exact same strategy. But I want to talk about my other strategy, which is using Recon. A recon on Fagel, there's really only one, for me at least, good area to do, and that's the bottom of the map with B and D. And what I do with recon is I do double duty. I'll put a spawn beacon down so that, let's say we're attacking C. Um, we're on the British side, right? We got A and B, the Germans have C, D, and E. Um, I'll spawn on B, I'm going to walk kind of towards C, put a spawn beacon down, and then kind of go back towards B and snipe from there, and kind of keep that area under control and spot enemies that are trying to flank from our flank. That's what I do as a sniper, is I, I do that. Um, and I make sure that those spawn beacons are always kind of on the push. What I try not to do, and this is, this is big, is let's say, again, we're British side. We have B, and we have D. Er, and yeah, we have D. The D is on the German side. I try to stay away from the German side because I have a sniper rifle. And I don't want to get, you know, I don't want to get caught up in this whole close range gunfight. You got a medic or an assault on me and I'm stuck with a sniper rifle and a pistol. You know, it's not a good situation to be in. Now, if I've got a little bit closer range scope, or I'm doing iron sight sniping and I might want to push that objective, I'll do that. But other than that, I'm just going to stick to my whole post over by D or B, sniping people, intimidating them, spotting them, and putting my spawn beacon down to help the push. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the medic part. If you watch the video on Devastation, you already know what's coming up. But if not, the way that you play a medic on this is you just use SMG, you stay at the top part of the map, so A, C, and E, and you use smoke grenades. What you're going to do that for is a couple of things. Use it for pushes, and if it's a long distance field, you use that to cover some angles so you're not going to get shot at, and you can get close. Now what I do is I try to focus on revives because especially on C and E, there's a lot of buildings. And so a teammate might die in a building or die behind cover and I have an extra chance to revive them. So I'm gonna focus on reviving them. There is a problem at C and E that this reviving solves, which is teammates are gonna get shot at all the time. Even if you're the best dodger in the world, if you get shot at, it means your teammates can't spawn on you. So if you're the medic reviving people, then you're gonna kinda solve that problem a little bit. You know, you're never ever gonna be able to solve that problem completely. If teammates are getting shot at, they and they need uh, other teammates to spawn on them, they best run away because you can't solve that problem. You can use your smoke grenades to solve that problem. But other than that, that's really what you use the revives for. Now there's one thing also that is especially good with the medic class, those choke points. So you know how from C to E, there's that little ridgeway, um, and a lot of people will camp it. So what I do is I capture that ridge, but I don't stay in the ridge because that opens up into E and I'm going to get shot at. So what I do is I'll kill the people at it and then kind of stay back and let them funnel through. That allows me to shoot at them better. There's not that many places they can come from. It's kind of some cover. Ah, okay. There's kind of some cover there. So, you know, they're going to hide behind it. But it gives me a little bit of a better chance because especially with medic guns that bounce around a lot, you know, I can't... I can't snipe with a medic gun. It's not possible, at least on full auto. So I kind of make sure they go through there. And then if I do want to push there, I'll make sure I use my smoke grenades to cover angles and then push through the choke point. So that's really it, guys. That's how I solo queue on Fagel. How do you solo queue? Do you use the planes? I, I don't really like using the planes because I don't have someone to be my bat gunner and screw with people shooting behind me. But that's it. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post. Or whatever I said to make.